Hey there, my name is Mike Horowitz, pronouns he him. I'm an artist and animator over at Double Stallion Games, and I'm here to show you Harmony 21's new gaming features. Okay, so now I'm gonna show off some of the solid drawing vector and brush tools that Harmony has. So over here on the window, you can see that we have a variety of different options available, whether it's solid or whether it's textured. And with Harmony's features, you're able to actually add pressure sensitivity, depending on how hard or how soft you push down on the pen here, you're able to reflect that on screen. The pen tool has a lot of other features as well. With the pen tool selected, I can draw lines, set up different shapes, and then by selecting them, I can also change the texture after they're being drawn. That could affect how they're tapered, that could affect the texture that's being applied to them, and it can even allow me to change the shape of them by selecting different points along the drawing and manipulating them like this. So in Harmony, when using the brush tool, you have different options for how much or how little sensitivity you need in order to draw the lines that you want on screen. There's even extra features that allow you to adjust the curves as to how little or how much pressure is needed in order to get the line work that you want. So Harmony has onion skinning features as well, and these let me look at the frames before and after the drawing that I'm working on. With onion skinning enabled, I'm able to have more control over how far back or how far forward uh, I need to look at these drawings and I also have control over whether I want to look at the number of frames or the number of drawings ahead or behind the one that I'm currently working on. With the many ink and paint tools available, Harmony provides me a wide range of control over the line art and color fills of the different drawings. So with the ink tool, I can color individual line segments instead of coloring whole lines at a time. Like this, I can just pick one or two of them and color them a different color instead of having to color every other part of that line, which allows me more control over the line art on the inside and the outside of the character. The Paint Tool in Harmony lets me easily fill in color, even when the shapes aren't fully closed. Like this, I can create a segment, switch to the Paint Tool, and drop a splash of color behind. It even lets me change the color as I see fit. So next I'm going to talk about color palettes. And this is one of the features that I like most actually in Harmony. So with color palettes, uh, these give me the option to change on the fly any color that's already been assigned to a shape or a frame within the animation. Like this, I can easily adjust any color that's already been assigned to a character. I can change it to a different hue, I can make it transparent if I need to see the lines underneath, or I can even make it a little darker. In Harmony, each color has a unique ID, which makes it easy to change the hue, the vibrancy, the saturation of any color that's already been assigned across the entire timeline or animation that you're working on. With palettes, Harmony makes it easy to make alternate costumes and colors for the characters you're working on in the timelines as well. It's pretty easy to clone the colors and duplicate it, so if a character needs a different t-shirt color or a different costume color, it's very easy to change those up. Like this, I clone a palette, I change the color of one of the uh, items, or several items in this case, and let me just change the shirt. I'll change the pants, let's go for a funky green. And by bringing this one up to the top, now we can see Lincoln in his snappy new outfit. Harmony offers a lot of options for managing your timelines. And this applies to both raster and vector layers. I'm able to work with four different layers on each individual drawing layer. I can work on overlay, line art, color, or underlay layers. This allows me to easily split up the different drawings and different fills and colors and line art that I'm working on in any individual drawing. Working in timelines in Harmony also allows me to add pegs to the individual drawing layers and even add pegs to pegs. This allows me for way more control over how things look, how things move, and how things act within each individual Harmony timeline. And that pretty much covers timelines. Now let's go over Game Bones. So with Game Bones, it allows a lot of versatility for individual drawings. Instead of having just one drawing and substituting it for another whenever it needs to change that much, Game Bones allow us to flex it a little bit, move it a little bit back and forth. Let's try adding a Game Bone to Lincoln's arm and see how that works out. So here, I'm just gonna set up the base, set up the bone to the articulation point, and set up another one. I can change the range of influence here. And with that, we have our game bone all set up. Now let's see how it works. So here, I can grab any one of these settings here, any one of these points, and I can move it around like that. This makes it an easy way to manipulate drawings in a way that doesn't require so many new ones to be made every single time. I can also change the area here, uh, how big or how little it influences, and I can always reset it back to zero. I can also switch between drawing substitutions while using Game Bones. 
This way, if I'm moving a drawing and it starts to get a little bit close to a new drawing, I can always just switch that one for a new one. Going into drawing substitutions, finding the one that most closely resembles the new position, and then switching it up to match. Switching between frame-by-frame -frame animation and game bones offers a lot of flexibility over a character's entire range of motion. Super helpful. So one major advantage of game bones is that it gives us more flexibility with less drawings so that we can offer a wider range of motion for our characters without having to overload the sprite sheet with too many drawings. This way, our buddy Lincoln only needs a few different drawing substitutions, uh, and the rest of the movement can be handled by the game bone here. Just grab that little node, hey, make him wave a little bit, and there we go. So one great new feature with Harmony 21 is the ability to add skins to characters and animations. This lets us easily switch between different clothing, different accessories, different facial expressions, even different hairstyles for characters using the same set of animations and nodes. So with character skins and our uh, buddy Lincoln here, uh, who needs certain tufts of hair on certain sides of his head, he can easily switch between the left and right facing variants by substituting the different skins that we have set up already. These skins are only set up to the two different drawings here, the two little tufts of hair, and we can easily switch between them by changing the global skin at the top. And that's it for the overview of the animation section of Harmony 21's new gaming features. Thanks for watching. Oh,